Hi everyone, uh, in this video I want to show you my code to simulate uh, photolithography. Okay, so photolithography is uh, the method used in electronics uh, development and circuits uh, development and fabrication at the nanoscale. Of course, uh, if you reach this video, this means you already know uh, the idea of photolithography. Okay, so the idea of this code is that we are calculating what's known as the aerial image and the aerial image is the image that uh, transfer from the mask to the uh, wafer to the layer of the photoresist on the wafer I expect you understand what I'm saying okay so this aerial image uh, is not exactly the same as the mask image and that's what we will try to simulate and demonstrate uh, this error comes due to the diffraction uh, of the light of the edges of the small uh, dimensions and of course this phenomena get uh, more pronounced as the dimensions get smaller of course new technology and as the lambda which is the wavelength of the used light okay is uh, larger okay so whenever the lambda is large uh, very large than the critical dimension or the smallest uh, length in your technology you start to have a more diffraction uh, effect you start to have more error in your aerial image and of course there is a lot of method to uh, correct this there is a OBC of uh, access elimination and stuff like this so however so we, in order to make this correction we need to first calculate this aerial image and this is what I want to share with you in this code so first let's uh, see this part okay I only show you this part only this part you need to change in it is a part of the parameters and here the first is the accuracy accuracy is that okay this is the degree of the accuracy it uh, actually then turns to the resolution of your image uh, the image of the, the mask okay and the uh, solution of your uh, light intensity at the wafer level so anyway of course as you increase the accuracy you get a better uh, result but you get more time of calculation okay but you get more accurate uh, result and error this accuracy is an integer you start from uh, one one is very very low of course and you can see here the resolution is just due to the power of accuracy this one so seven is like a decent number less than this is like less decent more than this will have a more uh, accuracy but it is an integer okay then you got a lambda which is the wavelength and you all the distances in this code is in the micrometer micrometer uh, scale so the lambda is and uh, the hundred uh, nanometer as you can see okay what is the threshold intensity well uh, of course normalized this means how much uh, uh, above this is threshold okay so we say that 0.4 of the maximum intensity of your uh, elimination above this you can uh, uh, develop the photoresist you have an image and below of this you you look at as a dark part of your mask or we say that the intensity is very low to develop your uh, photoresist now this number 0.4 is mentioned a lot in the literature but of course you can change this one okay the numerical aperture of course this is because the uh, most uh, famous or the, the most common nowadays methods of photolithography is the uh, projection method and which use a lens of course as you know to collect the light so this is a numerical aperture of your lens of course you can also change it and L is the smallest possible length in the technology you say this is a, like a and a 9 nanometer technology, a 90, a 100, whatever. So what you say is this is the smallest thing. Okay, now what is the input to this, this simulation? Well, the input is a text file which contains the boundary points of your polygon in the mask. So uh, let's take, uh, of course, uh, all the boundary points of all the polygons, okay, in your mask. Let's take a small and simple examples, okay? So here is a, the, the, the file from inside, okay, here is the file, so you can say 
that this is the x axis and this, uh, sorry the x points and here is the y points the x coordinates y coordinates of your boundary points which shape your uh, uh, polygon okay here is another example here's another example okay and we will just pause now you can of course not, not write them in a file you can write them by your hand whatever this is how you uh, describe your your mask now uh, the actual values of your x and y in the text file is actually uh, not really important what is important is the shape of the of the point the relative positions of the point at each other okay the shape of the polygon uh, because it is being scaled down till it reaches that the smallest side is this length okay so the smallest possible length so the shape anyway is scaled either down or scaled up whatever to make the smallest uh, side length is equal to the smallest possible length so it is not uh, important uh, the exact values of x and y just the relative position of the shape okay so let's start and uh, test this okay let's go with first example okay let's see now this is a simulation done and you can see it made in a very good uh, time now first this is a normalized light intensity it goes from 0 to 1 1 is a maximum 0 is, is no elimination at all okay and and here you can see that this is the shape okay so uh, here is the intensity of the, of the light now you can see the shape of the mask this is a black this black boundary this is the shape of the mask let's move it a little bit here you go okay so this is the shape what is what is inside what is red is the aerial image we are talking about okay uh, which you can see that it is consistent with the light intensity and here is the, the shape so th this red uh, boundary is the one which is get printed on the uh, wafer uh, here is the error, the error is just 26% of the whole uh, area, this is the error, the difference between the area image and the mask, the elapsed time, and you get this. Now, let's let's increase the accuracy a little bit, let's make it, uh, I don't know, let's make it 10, okay, so we have increased the accuracy now, and see what happened, okay, again, example 1, okay, now you see that, this is a better, a better uh, shape, a better view, okay, and you can see this is also a better and more uh, complex shape of the intensity, okay, and you can see a, a higher time of calculation, but 7 is a good, is a good accuracy option. Now, if we increase lumbar, okay, a little bit, or we decrease the L, which is a critical uh, distance, you will see a, a, a larger error, okay? Okay, here you go. You see a larger error, you see a more diffraction effect going on, going on here because the lambda is very, very small. So, And, of course, if you do the other thing, if you make... Uh, Let's let's make L very large, okay? Let's make L larger than even lambda. So you have uh, a very big mask, okay? So you have a very old technology, I don't know, a bad technology. If you did this, you will see that it is a very good, a very good shape. This is what happens when you uh, eliminate a big mask. You see a good, a good shape because it is uh, almost the same. There is no diffraction, okay? And here you can see. This is the light wave, the intensity, in the light, and you can see the error. There is a lot of time. Okay, let's try another example. Let's go back to the old values, and let's try another, the second example. See one more thing. See a bigger, it's like the shape of an F letter, and you see this is aerial image. This is a 3D of the light intensity on the wafer, okay? And uh, here is the error. Here is this uh, left line. Now you can use this code to apply like OBC correction, any 
kind of correction in your simulation and of course when you get the code I will share it with you in the description you can uh, see the way the, the algorithm I used to the simulation and you can use it of course in whatever you want uh, let's try to increase maybe the accuracy see what what happens make it data okay. you have a better estimate of the error you have a better estimate of the shape you can see the 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 edge rounding you can see the uh, shifting of the side you can see the shortening so it is looks nice uh, okay I hope you like this uh, co uh, this code you will find it in the description and I hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you all for watching